Hello everybody, this is All Sounds Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the previous episode, we helped Zhao escape from prison, only for him to end up getting caught by Cabanella. Yeah. Well, not a whole lot we can do about that. All we can do now is head to the Justice Minister's office where it appears as though Lin is in some trouble. Again. Better not be dead by the time I get there. Oh, and for those of you who didn't catch the, uh, or didn't watch Biogun, uh, my allergies are back. So if I sound off or there's random cuts in the video, that's why. Now that my assignment to stop the execution had ended in such an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Lin at the Justice Minister's office. Detective Jowd's story about this other murderer weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lin about it? I just don't know. This time, Lin isn't dead, for once, but the Absmere makes me think that it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. Oh boy. Eek! What kind of greeting is that? I mean, I know the ghost and everything, but... Well, and how did it go? Was Detective Jout still alive? Uh, he'd already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but... Did? Oh, I'm so glad. Uh, wait a minute, did you say but? I told Lynn about my adventure at the prison. About the other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cavanella arrested Detective Jowd? I can't believe it! Yeah, I feel the same way. I can't believe that wherever I go, somebody is always dead. Either you or someone else. Sorry about that. So, who is that lying on the floor there? Oh, you noticed him, did you? That's the Justice Minister. And the man who signed the order to carry out Detective Jad's execution. He was already dead when I got here. Should you have called for help in that case? Mm, I guess so, but I'm wanted, remember? For murder? I was hoping we could save him without me getting caught. We, eh? Oh, boy. All right, time to get to work. Oh, and something I should tell you about. There is an achievement for getting through this without him dying. Well, again. Hey, can you hear me? And this is also one of the more challenging puzzles. Hmm. He's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Could you rescue him now, while he's still unconscious? Instead of talking to him, I bet it'll be faster to just see what real... See for yourself what really happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Back we go, then, to four minutes before his death. Four minutes before death. Emma! Oh, excuse me. What? All right. I'll do as you say. This is terrible. Why doesn't she answer? Ah! 
medicine. Water. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up. He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into dilemma we fall. The world of man is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water pitcher too, he loses both. Oh, I don't know. To me, it looks like you could have had both if those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. I actually had a different voice in mind, but I can't really do it with my sinuses the way they are. Or maybe I should say, a pathetic man. That's a more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? No, not really. By the way, what's your name? Just call me a seeker of truth. Sidestepped that one, didn't he? Yeah, I don't think we ever learned his name. Now then, when he starts having his heart attack, you might think to jump into the medicine bottle and follow it over. Don't. You won't have enough time to get it back to him. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. But who is this? Homily's tutor? Would a tutor call you at this hour? N no. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? My daughter. Is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Here for yourself. Papa, help! I'm gonna be killed. Ironically enough, having my... Having these allergies actually helps with that voice. What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known the other day. Oh, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? I, I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contact me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well to remember that. Ah! And of course it goes without saying, we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. All right. I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. You can go there and get some information, such as the fact that they don't actually have his daughter. That was just a recording. But it doesn't serve our purpose here, so we're going to stay here. Now, we want to... This is terrible, as soon as we can. Kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure I know what the word means. But apparently it's the cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. I better do something about that medicine. Like I said, you might think to jump into the medicine bottle and follow it over, but you won't have enough time to save him if you do that. I have to call my wife. I have to see if it's true. Maybe they called the wrong person. This visitor doesn't accept the truth easily. 
He's morally bankrupt. Okay, now you're taking it too far. So I phone answer for some reason. What if it doesn't answer her phone? I think I know who that is. A morally bankrupt man deserves a morally bankrupt wife. Why doesn't that man understand that? Now I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. Now all we can do is wait. I wish we could fast forward a little bit. Uh oh, here it comes. His ray and anxiety have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man. Huh? If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? There wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. I can't give up now. Flap the flag, and then immediately jump into the pitcher. That will buy you enough time. Wait until he starts drinking. And spin the ceiling fan. Apparently, drinking that water calms him down? There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. He's still breathing, apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay. At least now I bought some time to get his medicine to him. Alright, spin the ceiling fan harder. Wait for the documents. Jump into them. Now, we need to focus on getting the medicine to him. Okay, time for the next step. Now, about this medicine bottle. If the minister's going to make a full recovery, I have to deliver this thing to him. But how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I guess I'll just have to use my head instead. Okay, jump into the hand, raise it. I'm gonna jump over to this frame hanger and undo it. Lower the hand, jump into the curtain, close it. Then we're going to jump into this armor arm, raise it, and let's see if I got this right. We turn the globe stand, spin it, which causes it to fall out. Yes, good. Undo this frame hanger. That's a pretty light frame for its size. Sure are a lot of things that can fall down in this room. He's a fallen man. Huh? Deserves to have everything come tumbling down on his head. I don't know about fallen man, but you talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key here is what order the objects are dropped in. Alright, roll the globe. Jump back into the curtain. Raise the armor. Turn the hanging basket. Rock it. Now, you could also skip, uh, stick the melon on the arm, but it wouldn't be big enough to hit the medicine bottle. Better hope it lands where it needs to. My medicine! Ugh.
There, the mister finally took his medicine. I'm pretty sure he took way too much. I think maybe he even took too much medicine. Such a greedy man. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? Ah, uh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? Cleared. Too much medicine. Chapter 10. Avert fate without any deaths after the final fate change. Phew, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. And so the Justice Minister is now back to life. But the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. And apparently our lady detective is, pre is the present cause of these those furrows. Look, detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence at all. All they had was his own confession. But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I may be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. B but when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No. But when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I would simply perform my duty as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. Alright, better get Lynn's attention. Well, it looks like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a signal. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, we're back. Sissel, there you are! It sounds like the Mister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. Now, the Mister has to have the execution carried out tonight. That's a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lynn what I had learned about the kidnapping. K kidnapping? They kidnapped the Justice Minister's daughter? Yeah, apparently. Oh my goodness. But still, that's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister, then? Mm, poor man. I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way, do you think you could carry me? Oh, right, sure. Not very handy, is it, having no legs? What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this... Uh, <laughs> pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question, were you talking to somebody just now? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing. It's ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? Ah! No, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me! So now I'm a dream, eh? Mr. Minister, we know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? 
And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. Yeah. Yeah. Your medicine, medicine! Ah, ah. Uh, you kind of already took it all. Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Amelie. What if that execution isn't the right thing to do? Yeah. Come on, Lynn. If you keep pressing him like that, he's going to die again. What can I do then? We have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping. The only way I know how. We meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. Uh, I'm not a dream. It looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. I think you're right, stubborn justice minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head! I actually don't want to talk to him. Let's try talking to Lynn. Don't you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? I mean, the demand is to carry out an execution that was already set to be carried out. Just like the minister said, there's no need for such a kidnapping. Hmm. You might be right. Are you talking to somebody again? No, no, there's no such thing, no such thing. I'm a realist. I'll never believe in them. Not in the existence of ghosts, not in this escape from prison, and not in this kidnapping. This realist is running away from the several very real facts. At high speed, too. Anyway, let me try and find out more about this kidnapping. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. Oh, that's right, you have their telephone number. I think I'll go see what these kidnappers look like. Alright. I really should pay the kidnappers hideout a visit. After all, if we want the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery, but I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble, so I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. Alright, well, we might not have him on our side, but at the very least, we've saved the Justice Minister, so we can maybe change that. Oh boy. But yeah, like I said, spoilers, we've already met the little girl that is his daughter, and um, <laughs> they don't have her. No way a wine bottle wielding mother like that would allow them to take her. Oof. But yeah, might say spoilers on that one, but uh, we already met them, like a while ago. But anyways, with that, I'm going to end this off here for today. We've saved the minister, but we have yet to get him on our side. Still need to prove that his daughter is safe. And that's going to take some work, as usual. But anyways, I'm going to end this off here for today. If you like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.